And all right, guys, welcome back to another video on the David Hammond YouTube channel. Now, in this one, guys, we are speaking of a little bit of a, I don't want to say superficial topic, but um, it's something very deep and serious nonetheless, but it can sound a little silly and superficial. Uh, that is choosing signals, okay? Now, I, again, guys, like, I'm pretty new to this whole manosphere, so, like, I'm catching up on all of these words as far as, like, cook and simp and red pill and this and that. Now, keep in mind, guys, like, I'm aware of the dynamics are essentially the the meaning behind it but i just didn't know it was called this so so choosing signals this is another word i had to learn by the way we have the water which a lot of you guys seem to not like when i sip it no clue why it's just water or tea um so choosing signals what is choosing signals now guys from what i know if you think about the animal kingdom this is kind of where i think of it choosing signals you think of the animal kingdom and by the way we're all animals we may be a bit more evolved than the average animal via our brain the neocortex but still you must understand that we still have the exact same brain as these animals it's just one step more evolved so we're all animals we all relate the same way we all feel the same emotions more or less definitely all the, uh, the four f's fight flight fuck food which is what every single animal has reptiles and onwards we have a reptile brain and onwards and uh, choosing signals revolves to that so fight flight fuck food this is the most primitive part of every human being or said animal okay essentially guys choosing sig signals is more or less when the man or woman predominantly the woman gives uh, a man certain signals that signifies that yes i want to be with you it's pretty straightforward so if you guys maybe went to a club or a bar or a party and you would notice this girl kept looking at you or or like talking to you or like staring back over and trying to go wherever you go that's essentially a choosing signal that is a girl saying um, a lot of times too why it's, it's very interesting is it's usually subconscious so um, the girl usually doesn't even know she's doing it like I said we have the reptile brain it's extremely subconscious we do these things these primitive behaviors a lot of times without even knowing so those are what choosing signals are it's when a girl's giving you subliminal messages saying i'm into you i want to i want you and uh, let's move things forward whatever you choose to do with that you can walk away you don't have to act on it you can use that you can move forward you can sleep with her you can maybe i don't know uh, begin to talk to her girlfriend whatever you want okay i'm not here to tell you what to do it's just i'm letting you know what happens so we know what choosing signals are now Let's explain a little bit about the dynamics because David, what happens if a girl doesn't give me choosing signals or me as the man, I'm just unaware of what these choosing signals are. Here's the issue. A lot of times men, you know, because of our predominant energy, it's masculine, it is very uh, directional and forward thinking. This is why men, for the most part, approach women. This is why men also chase women. Men move forward, okay? Our energy is just to move, 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 move forward. And one of those things, of course, is going to be towards women. So if you're wondering why men seem to chase women, well, it's just energetically, it's, it's a bit easier to. So... The problem with this, guys, is it's actually very interesting, and I'm going to bring this over to business, a little business tip, I guess, for you guys. A lot of times what happens is we as men simply are unaware, simply are unaware that this woman is not interested in us via she's not giving us choosing signals, and because of that, we approach as men. This is just our nature. We just, we, we assert, right? We pursue. Um, a lot of times it completely throws the girl off. It completely turns her off, and it's almost like... You can almost think of it like picking a flower or a fruit from a tree when it's not fully ready. You're essentially stunting it. You're 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 freaking it, freaking it out. It's almost like pulling a child out of the womb before it's fully developed. I know that may sound morbid, but it's too premature. It it it's you're you're ramming something that's not meant to be rammed yet, okay? It's like popping it. There's so many ways I can... It's popping a zit that's not, you know, meant to be popped yet. You get what I'm saying? Uh, it's too forceful. And because of that, the woman will be repulsed. She'll be like, whoa, she'll immediately close down and say, that's not what I'm into, bada boom, bada boom. And this is where a lot of rejection comes or, um, I mean, it can even get out of hand. Like, you know, it, it depends on the dynamic, right? So what do you do, Okay. First and foremost, I want you guys as men to first be aware of what choosing signals are. Now, I can make an entire video on what this are, but essentially, guys, a choosing signal is going to come from a woman who subconsciously wants you. Now, right off the bat, what are going to be some... I mean, to be honest, guys, I don't even really need to list it because if you're a man, you should be able to feel this. You should be able to know. You should be able to feel that this woman is having warm feelings towards me. She's usually, you know, wanting to be in my direction. She keeps looking at me. She's flocking over to you. It's very obvious. Like, I don't... I shouldn't need to tell you. Like, you guys can understand this. Like, if a chick's hitting on you, okay? In those cases, which you probably all know, 
it is much easier to pursue that as a man. That is when you pursue, okay? And this is where it's kind of backwards or a paradox where it's like, what's coming first, the chicken or the egg? Who is actually, do you see how interesting this actually is? It's like, who's pursuing who? Is the woman pursuing the man or is the man pursuing the woman? And this is where that whole debate will come back and forth of like, who chases who? So in my experience, guys, what I've noticed myself with, with, with women or with um, girls or hookups or, you know, whatever you guys are into, I would only pursue if I knew that that woman already uh, gave me a choosing signal, kind of meaning she already chose you, right? So whether that was like, what comes to mind is, uh, I mean, the girlfriend I'm with now is a silly example. You know, she shot me a DM on Instagram just saying like, hey, she tried to be sly about it where, you know, I was big into fitness. I still am. And I got like this massive plate of sushi. It was like 30 pieces. And she's probably like embarrassed that I'm saying this. And she just DM'd me. I didn't know who she was. And she was like, yo, where'd you get the sushi from? So that's a choosing signal. That is essentially a woman trying to start a conversation with you, right? In it's myriad of ways. Another girl that comes to mind is I was looking for combat boots, okay? I'm big into the outdoors. So combat boots and... um she just decided to be the person that came and helped me out. And then she just started, you know, saying, oh, this shoe is good or this shoe. Like you can just pick up on signs. And then from that, um, you can decide what to do next. So to bring it full circle, guys, choosing signals are signals that women use to signify that they enjoy you or they like you. If you're not getting a choosing signal, I don't want to, I don't want to say hope is all lost, but I just think at that time and place, hope is lost, okay? Now, what you guys must understand though, and I know this video is kind of going all over the place, is that women can feel very different emotions rapidly, right? So, I mean, I may get a choosing signal from a certain woman one day and then the next day, completely the opposite, right? So, I'm not saying it's your fault. This is just how the feminine energy works. It's, you know, it's very cyclical. Don't approach if you're not really getting a choosing signal. It's nine out of 10 times, it's just not gonna work for you. But it doesn't mean hope is all lost. That's what I'm saying to you. Either A, continue to work on yourself, build yourself up, so you're gonna be more inclined to get these choosing signals, or B, if you're noticing this girl normally would look at me and today she doesn't, just wait till tomorrow, just wait another day. You know, Maybe she had, I don't know, a bad breakfast, or maybe her, her dad got her annoyed, right? We're human, we, we, we change, we're not always, especially women though, because of the feminine energy is much more cyclical, where for men, you see, men, we can feel the same way every single day. Like men can do the same, men can eat the same food, work at the same job, do the same thing every single day. This is masculine energy. It's just, it's repetitive. It's linear. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Where a woman, it's much more, which I'm not saying is good or bad. So that's that, guys. Those are choosing signals. I hope that was able to help you guys. Um, don't feel bad if you're not getting choosing signals. Continue to just work on yourself, increase your sexual marketplace value, meaning improve your life physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Build yourself up. Choosing signals will naturally happen organically. And if they're not happening, then so be it. Who cares? Like, I'll finish the video there. It doesn't matter, okay? Don't force something that's not there. Don't try try to, you know, maybe approach a woman if, if, if you're not feeling the chemistry, I just wouldn't recommend it. I would approach if you're noticing there's a choosing signal and, um, or you don't have to approach because if you're on NoFap, which probably, oh, oh, this is perfect. This is where I'll finish it. Wow. See, I'm going to make more videos on choosing signals. One of the fastest and a little bonus tip for you guys. One of the fastest ways to increase your chances of attaining choosing signals from women is to go on NoFap. All right. What you guys must understand is your higher testosterone through NoFap literally emits pheromones. There's a pheromone that is attached to testosterone and I believe it's called, uh, it's a big word, andriostatinone. And Andrea stating known, something like that, but it's a pheromone attached to testosterone. It uh, releases pheromones. Women can smell it. They're going to flock and give you choosing signals, but uh, you choose to do what you want after that. So I'm leaving it there. Okay. Maybe I'll make another video on how to increase your chances of that. But essentially guys, it's just being the best you like, there's no gimmicks and hacks and like things to say like, no, dude, you're just, you're a G or you're not. And if you're not, it's okay. Just build up to be that. I'm no different. I'm trying to do that too. We're all trying to do that as men. All right. So that's that. That's what they are. That's how you get them. That's what to do when you do get them. That's what you do when you don't get them. And uh, yeah, I hope I was able to help you guys. So right about nine minutes. Thanks guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did guys, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. And as always guys, the workshop, there are, I believe nine days left from today. We're going live on the workshop guys. I'm taking on 20 of you men. Quite a few of you guys have filled up the spots. There's still some left. And because of that guys, I'm taking off 20% off the workshop until all spots are filled. So if you're interested guys for one hour long weekly live stream group calls with group messaging, everything on improving your health, relationships, finding your passion, serving to the world, I'd strongly recommend it. Again, it's 20% off until all spots get filled up within the next week or whatnot. So if you're interested, down below. If not, there is one-on-one -on -one coaching above or the self-development course below. Everything is below and I'll finish it there, guys. Much love, thanks. Keep crushing it, apply this, and uh, you should see some massive results or at least you'll, you'll be aware of why the results are coming. That's it, much love, guys.
Peace.